<laughs> All right, I gotta look up real quick how the drones work in initiative. But how do I roll for initiative? Uh, should be an initiative <laughs> thing. Somewhere. Under attributes, it should be an initiative button. Oh, initiative. And it should be adding it to the turn order as we go. I got 11. Oh, damn it. I didn't click on my guy. Can you add me? I didn't know I had to click on my person. Oh, wait, I did crap. I did two different ones in there. What do you have to do? Oh, you're supposed to click on your token, and then you roll initiative, and they'll send it to the tracker. Right. Oh, I didn't do that either. Wait, do what? Do him click 11. on your token? This guy got a 12. Yeah, I, guess, I guess if you click on your person... Can you edit it? Can I try it again? Um, oh. I don't know how to edit it, actually. I can, I can delete it, but it's not on there anymore. Oh, wait, yeah, I can edit. Or oh, this guy was... Yeah, let me roll this guy. So you have to just click the token? Yeah, and then you click on initiative, and it should okay. automatically go into turn order. But I like I like my ten, so I don't want to roll again. <laughs> but maybe I don't like ten. So far, it's the lowest. Ugh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, whatever. Um. Still got eleven. Click on the token. I want the thingy that tells me what these things do. Actually, 4 plus 1 6, that's terrible. Yeah, that is terrible. Jeez. And. Okay, has everybody rolled initiative? I have, but I don't know how my drones work still. <laughs> I don't know which which things to... What, what, what things do you use for human initiative? You use... <clears throat> human initiative. I think you use reaction plus... Intuition? And I have a plus one for some reason. Wait a second. Um, Terminate initiative for all the characters. Roll the character's initiative dice. Add a total roll and add a number of initiative rating. Initiative. Well, <laughs> that's oh. tell me what the initiative rating is. You roll. You roll a one d six, and then you add your initiative, which is uh, reaction plus intuition. Okay. And it's normally a one d six unless you have some other ability or something that gives you additional one d sixes. Right. Okay. I had two d sixes and I still rolled a three. You rolled a three? I rolled a two and a one. Oh wow! Ooh. Both times. <laughs> How come you have a two? Would you? It's just one of my things. Yeah, one of his uh, one of his uh, spells I think gives him another initiative dice. Are we looking up uh, drone initiative? Yeah. I mean, we can make up just a house rule about it. I mean, because drones have like a set of stats. Um. They are handling, speed, acceleration, body, uh, arm, pilot, and sensors. And handling and speed and acceleration are all self-explanatory. Body is self-explanatory. Arms is its ability to, it's like a weapon capability. Mm -hmm. Pilot is its AI, and sensors so, are its sensors. Right now, what yeah. mode are they in? They're, on um, they're all in, like, sentry mode. They're, they, they were all given a command to... Uh, well, the, the, 
I have two of them are in standby. Two of them are wait, awaiting instructions. Okay. The other two are feeding me video information from outside the restaurant. Um, so I didn't want to do it for now because I, I don't know how to do drone initiative either, honestly. <clears throat> we'll just mix something up. Pick two of their abilities, like sensors and pilot, maybe. Drones move on the initiative pass of their controller. They only get one initiative pass and therefore do not benefit from the drought from the drone controller's enhanced reflexes, if any. The only exception to this is if they are jumped in by a rigger, in which case they act as the rigger acts. Oh, so they go at the same time I do? Yes. Like the same turn phase? Okay. That's what I gather. So they don't get their own initiative. <clears throat> okay. That's fine. Yeah, I guess you're using your turn to control them. Right, right. If I choose to control them, I guess. Mm -hmm. Except in this case, I'm going to be defending a dude with a fucking broom handle, so I don't know if I'm going to have time to... You <laughs> 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 got it. All right, so this is the current initiative pass, and it looks like Chris gets to go first. Oh, boy. So, oh, shoot. <laughs> Free action... I'm going to send a blanket command to all my uh, drones to enter the, the restaurant and, and to wait for the commands. Okay. I'll let you control them. <laughs> okay. Uh, only two of them are available right now. Okay. There's uh, another Roto drone and a Steel Links. No, I mean like the, the icons. There should be two more icons. Oh, you need the tokens? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how, how to calculate how, how far they can go or whatever. I assume that's speed or acceleration, but I assume that's... Yeah, I didn't... Uh... I know each square is a meter, and I have to look up how many you can walk and run, but I don't know drones at all. Well, they've got a, a speed rating. Oh, okay. Uh, the medium, the the, the roto drones are four. So are and the there. steel links is four. <clears throat> so four spaces, maybe. I don't know. Movement. Uh, players have a walking movement rate of ten meters and a running movement rate of twenty-five meters. Rates of movement are per combat turn, not initiative pass. Characters may attempt to increase their running distance by spending a simple action. And making a running plus strength test, each hit adds two meters to the distance they can run in that combat turn. How many are you, is these squares, you said? A walking rate of ten meters. I think a square is five meters. That's what the default okay. is. So they can move t two squares just on their own. Yes. Without any yes. Okay. At least these two guys move up here. These guys, two guys move <clears throat> that far. And then for my actual action, I'm going to try to... Uh, what gun do I have? So this guy has basically closed in with melee range with you, but he hasn't quite had a chance to actually swing his mop at you. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, pull out my, I'm gonna pull out my submachine gun, my Ingram Smart Gun X. Okay. Although, do we do we yet know how the different fire modes work? Like burst fire, full auto. 
Um, it, I think it, def it affects how many defense dice the defender gets to use. Okay. Um, I know semi-auto is a minus two dice penalty. And I'd have to look up burst fire, I think, in the core rules. So I should just roll my gun firing thing now. Yeah, yeah. do it with a. Um, go back to the core, quick start. I think if somebody's like running at you, it's minus. <laughs> uh, attacker in okay. Attacker in melee combat is a minus three if you're trying oh to shoot them. Okay. Minus three. That's not very good. Success. So he rolls. What did I say is defense, reaction, and intuition? Or agility? Wait, is that really right? Five dice? Or no, I had minus three. Right, right, right. It's agility it was plus three, and then minus three for the thing. So yeah, I probably don't hit him. Uh, probably. Let me see what I roll. Defend uses reaction plus intuition. So it is a four plus two is six. That's not a whole lot he's rolling either. Good enough. Yep. So he, the janitor moves like a blur as he's coming at you. <laughs> He's uh, a no ordinary janitor. Yeah, you're so frustrated by the this sudden guy's attack on you that you just kind of spray this uh, area back here, peppering the wall. There are innocent people in this restaurant. Yeah, and immediately the the dad and daughter combo. I've tried to hide behind their booth in this corner, although the uh, actual tables and chairs are bolted into the ground, and uh, so they're unable to turn anything over. They're just kind of cowering. He's uh, shielding her. Um. So next, we actually go to this gentleman who uh, actually pulls out... Let me pull up his stats. Uh, take a willpower. Okay, so let's make him take his willpower, which is a... <laughs> ah, fuck that. Um, so he sees what's going on. Um, you notice he was very nervous and fidgety before. Uh, he actually appears to take out a uh, holdout pistol, which is a special kind of gun that is designed to be uh, sneak past um, guards and detection and things. Um, and screams, uh, this is it, it's now and never, Stuart! And he actually takes, for free action, steps to the side of his booth, and attempts to open fire on the very surprised, uh, man right here. Which one? Uh, so this guy is going to be shooting this guy. What? <laughs> Is there some side story going on here? That you guys didn't. You guys went in guns blazing, so you don't really know what's going on right now. <laughs> two, two guys in the back are just having their own little gunfight. The bottom two are, fight, are shooting each other. Yes. Apparently. Or one of them shooting the other one at least. So that guy, that guy. Successes. Yes. Against reaction and intuition. Wow, this is terrible. Did you guys all go way after all the enemies? Okay, <laughs> so that guy successfully tags uh, the very surprised man right here. Um, three over zero, so his damage is a. Uh, 
his damage is a four, which means four plus three is seven against the other guy's armor rating. He's wearing a suit. I can't imagine his armor rating is very high. I'd be surprised. Wow! <laughs> um, oh no, he does absorb it. Okay, never mind. I was looking at the wrong thing. Oh, right, yeah. Um, he is actually able to absorb all of that incoming damage. Jesus. So, somehow, uh, you can tell he must have something under that suit. Um, <laughs> the guy managed to riddle this guy with bullets, but he just kind of staggers backward, but he doesn't look any worse for wear. Um, and then... Is it because the first guy got zero successes, too? Also? Uh, no, the, the, he got zero successes on his defense, which means the other guy did hit him in his attack, but his armor roll, he just rolled fantastically. Um, uh, so he absorbed actually all the... His armor has absorbed all the damage. That was he could only in. do seven damage, is that right? Right. And seven damage coming in, and he absorbed nine, so he absorbed all the damage. <laughs> if, if that had been one success... And does that mean it doesn't matter what the armor would have been? So ignore this whole thing right here that just says, the last thing I did, that doesn't matter. Just look at the up thing that says absorb at least 9 damage. Oh. And hover over that, and that's the roll I made. For whatever reason, this formula ends up, you do this extra roll on top of this one. That's the part that doesn't matter. Um, so it is this guy's turn next, the security guard. And he is going to... Let's see, so he's going to use a free action to take his gun out. Oh, I guess he already took it out before combat started. but And he is going to aim it at the uh, adept who attempted to <laughs> dissuade him. And it was the original one that he thinks is the main threat in any case. So he is going to... Uh, brazenly, he's he's kind of... You mean Vic Vinegar's sister? Vic Vinegar's sister, yeah. He's, he's not nonplussed about that. He's going to kind of hug the wall right here a little bit and turn the corner and shoot at... Um, the adept. So. And we're not going to do any modifiers. Got two successes. So, Reese, I need you to roll your. Um, when you select your token, there should actually be a defend button in the upper left corner that you can click, I think. I don't see that. Up by the um, arrow symbol. Oh, we have way up at the top. Yeah. Yeah. That's where. That's where all the macros go. Um, if it asks you for modifiers, just hit zero for all of them. Hopefully that works. You got two. Okay, so uh, defender wins on ties. So you are just barely able to kind of uh, dodge out of the way of uh, the bullets coming at you. <laughs> Next is our janitor friend who Damn feels like funny. feels like a god now that he's dodged all those uh, SMG bullets coming at him. <laughs> and he is going to swing his deadly mop of doom. <laughs> um, which I believe, yeah, counts as a club. Wow, that is a lot of damage, too. <laughs> that mop does not fool around. Um... I believe it doesn't actually list an accuracy, so I'm going to use his physical limit, which is a six. So he is going to attack with his mop. Um, I believe there aren't any modifiers for melee combat. Attacker missing, making call shot, touch only attack. No. Oh yeah, going pro now. Okay, so no modifiers. And he swings his mop with a furious vengeance. <laughs> so, Rigor, I need you to make your defense. Either use that defend button or roll your um, reaction plus intuition. And Boom! You are also able to uh, swiftly back out of the way of his roaring uh, mop swinging. Although you might get a little bit of mop water on you, which is kind of disgusting. <laughs> uh, next, uh, our sorceress, shaman. All right. 
So just because this guy pissed me off, pulled a gun out. Nobody likes guns. I'm gonna shoot the guard with a lightning bolt. I'm gonna at least try. Okay. Yeah, you're good. I'm gonna fry him. Uh, but I don't know how many guys are supposed to roll. Okay, so you are going to determine the force of your spell, which is basically the limit. You're setting the limit for it. That's right. Um, I don't know how any of this works. You have to just seven. Seven. So, to, so to cast a spell, she just chooses whatever spell she wants to cast. Mm -hmm. um, and then she determines the force of the spell, and your force can be up to twice your magic stat. Okay. And the force just determines... Um, you're setting a limit for how many successes you can use, basically. And you actually okay. roll your spellcasting skill plus your magic, which hers is 13 dice. Wow. Seven is there any downside to, to putting a high limit? Yes. Um, every time you cast a spell, you have to roll for drain, which is how much stun damage you take. And okay. your drain that you have to resist is your force minus a certain amount, depending on the spell. If you um, look, okay. I don't know if you can look at each other's character sheets, but... I'll do we can. I did seven. Okay, and you're going to cast Lightning Bolt. Yeah. So I just roll my spell casting, right? Uh, yeah, I roll spell casting with no modifiers. Because it's pretty much everything's normal conditions right now. Four successes. Four successes. Okay, so... Yeah, yeah. you uh, swing your hands out and lightning arcs across... The lobby uh, slamming into um, the surprised guard's face, and he gets to roll for That is a physical spell, right? Yes. Okay, so he rolls his body stat to see if he can reduce any of that damage. He actually has a 5 in body. Wait, why did you get hit? Because um, it's a combat spell? He doubted the power of the girl. <laughs> so what does the four successes mean? That is going to be how much damage he's going to take, depending on how many, uh... Move it off. Oh, okay. Got it. Depending on how many he can resist right now. Jesus! I have successes, I so he's... He actually is... That's a great roll! Yes! <laughs> I rolled five for five, by the way. <laughs> so... I'm pretty sure this is where his cockamamie roll-making comes into place, because he can just, like, change... You arced right him with the lightning bolt, <laughs> zammed it right into his chest, and it somehow kind of all got absorbed into his cybernetic arm and just kind of flickered a little bit before dying. And he just kind of looks surprised and then, and then grins. <laughs> um, so now roll for Drain, which is, you said, a 7. Minus 3 is a 4 Drain. So you've got 4 stun damage coming into you, and you need to roll your... Um, Willpower plus Charisma, so you roll 12 to see how much less damage you have. 12, 12 dice. Ah. Alright, so you take, no, you take no drain damage, yeah. Why couldn't I have rolled that? <laughs> <laughs> so how does that drain thing work? Like, like if you get below a certain number, you get drain damage? Um, so she had four damage coming in, so what she had to do was roll um, to negate some of that damage. So if she had rolled a four or better, she negates all that damage. If she rolls less than four, then she does take some stun damage. Oh, so sort of a double-edged sword thing, where she, yes. however much damage she does, she has to roll for that herself. Right, and if the if the, the net hits you end up getting from your spell is actually higher than your magic stat, then that drain damage is actually becomes physical instead of stun. Oh. So you can actually cast like super powerful spells, but it will take a toll on you. Uh, next is the Decker's turn. Everyone's exchanging blows, and not much has been happening. <laughs> what happened to the Adep's turn? Uh, next is Adep's turn. You're correct. <laughs> I'm gonna punch that guy in the face. <laughs> the guard, I take it. Yeah. Okay. Please, for the love of goodness, don't let him defend it. Uh, just a square. Um. Yeah, go ahead and move. Let's let's do. 
Well, yeah, you can probably do diagonal. I mean, I'm sure that's a rule, but I don't know. I'm not going to be that nitpicky about it. I mean, I'm sure you're. You can close in this attack. Could I move here and then punch him? Or yes, absolutely. Yeah, static electricity damage after that. That's a good punch. Five successes. Nobody purchases the name of Vincent <laughs> <laughs> Uh and he rolls. The thing I have totally forgotten the purpose we came here for. <laughs> Action intuition, which is <laughs> seven. top to the roll of <laughs> Finally. Okay, so you are able to punch him after he is uh, shaken off the lightning bolts. He is caught slightly unawares with the uh, sock to the jaw. So your damage of unarmed looks like it's five. And you got... What's the skill? Do what? What does the skill mean? The four on there? Uh, that's, the, that's your unarmed combat skill. So that, that helped you in your dice rolls. So you uh, have a five damage on your fists. You got two more hits than he did. So that means you've got seven damage coming into him. Nice. And zero armor penetration. So we roll his armor, which is a 12, plus his body is a five. He's actually the healthiest guy by far. So we see how much he can negate that seven damage, and he negates all seven. Jesus. <laughs> So he absorbs, uh, you hit him, punch him in the jaw, but it doesn't seem to uh, barely even stagger him backwards. He just kind of looks back, and now he looks really pissed. <laughs> now is the Decker's turn. Can I uh, hack into that car back there? Hack into the car. Uh, normally you could, <laughs> but for the purpose of this, I don't know the car stats. And I will go ahead and reveal that the steel-plated doors will prevent any ramming into the... Uh, Establishment as well. I was gonna ram to the side of the building. That would probably <laughs> flatten the car. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, this place seems this very is... structurally uh, intact. <laughs> I guess I'll come in. Welcome to the party, Raymond. Okay. No one has done any damage so far. Yep. yep. There's been a lot of hits and no damage. Can I just shoot this guy with my gun? Sure could. You could just waltz in gangster style, just pull your gun <laughs> while you're waltzing in, and just shoot that guy. Absolutely. Right, I like shoot. Let me shoot him then. I will let you shoot him. Did I roll my weapon? <laughs> Come on, Eric. Let me shoot him. I'm going to shoot him. There should be a roll, roll under your ranged weapon. Uh, hit that roll button with no modifiers. And you actually have a really good pistol skill, too. It's scary good. Like a six yeah. in pistols. Five successes. That's pretty goddamn good. I, oh, I was shooting that, that guy in the green. Yes. Yeah, I think everybody's... The guard is the... Uh, except the except for the poor rigger down, down there trying to fend off, fend off the janitor. <laughs> um, so, what does he roll? Seven is four plus three. Or no. Yeah, three plus four, so seven. So you do manage to shoot him. He takes the brunt of that attack. But let's see. Now, do you have... I have more hits. Yes, you have more hits. Okay, that means I hit him, and then what? So you did two more hits than he does. Your base damage is an 8, plus those two net hits is a 10 damage coming into him. And you have an armor penetration of minus 1. You have a really fucking good pistol. You didn't see that one coming. So does that mean I hit him for 11 points? That means he has to roll his armor to see how much he can negate that, and it's a minus one because of the armor penetration. Okay. And he absorbs six of the ten damage, so he still takes four uh, damage. And Congratulations, you're the first actual damage. It was less than his armor, so it's, it does stun damage to him, but Jeez. it'll still drop him if it fills up his stun. So that is four stun damage. So you... Lean back, you shoot him, you catch him in the chest, um, and he kind of just rockets backward from that and actually looks um, surprised, not only to see you, but see you fluidly come in. Um, <laughs> doves kind of fly around out of the way <laughs> as you draw well, back the your gun. Are right, behind him, so. right, right. And uh, shoot him, and he just gets rocked backwards, and now he's kind of uh, breathing a little harder. 
And finally, we have this guy down here who is surveying the whole thing and thinks it's ridiculous. And he right now, no, he, didn't take any he didn't take any damage though, but he's going to walk up and immediately retaliate against this guy and uh, pull his gun out. For two successes, which is not great. And the other guy is going to roll. Two successes. So this guy tries to shoot back at him, but somehow this guy doesn't even look like he's dodging. He's just so focused on this dude, but somehow the bullet just whizzes right past him. So that was everybody's first initiative pass. What happens now is all your initiative goes down by 10, and anybody that still has initiative left gets to go again. And so just the there's not a good drop off. Yeah, yeah, there's not a good system for doing that with roll 20, so we just kind of have to pay attention to the fact that this is the second pass. So, but yeah, it goes in the same order, um, except the yeah, the last two don't get to go. Okay. Sorry, Decker. <laughs> Sorry, I did my da I already did my damage. Yeah, that's true. You were the <laughs> most effective one that round. Um, so Chris is up next. Okay, so looking around, the janitor and the security guard are the only ones wearing McHugh's uniforms, correct? Um, I think just a janitor. Yeah, the the, 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 uh, isn't. the right. Yeah, the, the cook had these. The you know, uh, yeah, he's in the back now. You notice in the melee fight that the janitor was packing a gun. Oh dear. I'll go ahead and give you that information. Alright. I'm sending he... a command to just open fire on the McHugh's janitor. As the drones enter? As the drones, yeah. Yeah, just command him to enter the building and fire on him. That's my... Yeah, and just that's the free action. Then I'm gonna actually try to shoot him again, or I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to shoot him again. I don't know. Is there a rule like I have to go and then my drones go, or can they go and then I go? I'll let you. I'll let you choose. That's fine. Okay. So I'm kind of curious about the control device thing. Yeah. yeah. Of course, they can. They can barely get in here. All right. Well, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and let my. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do the free action. It's in the command, and the drones will come in as best they can. Uh, that's two. That's two. So I assume this guy from the outside can't shoot in. Yeah, because the doors will slam shut. Right. I mean, they, well, yeah, they probably can't cover the same spot. That'd be dangerous. <laughs> right. The. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna try to stack them. We're not in roll twenty, so yeah, they they all take yeah, a spot. Yeah, <laughs> presumably. I mean, the flying. Presumably guys so. Fly yeah. Over the head, but. But yeah, it's kind of a much of that later. <laughs> yeah. Um, plus, you can't even see. Like, if you move him to the back, he just disappears. Mm -hmm. um, then I'm going to do control device on my uh, steel links. So, they, so the three roto drones are going to attack on their own. Okay. But I'm going to control the steel links. So you're just jacking into him right now? No, I'm just going to do a control device, which is just the. Uh, Skill, okay. And then I get, to, right. I, then I get to control it for that turn. So I just, I, I think I just roll control device, right? Let's see. That's not an actual skill. I thought that was an actual skill. But I don't see it on my list. <laughs> I mean, it, the characters only have so many skills, though. Like I said, uh, Raymond didn't have hacking on his, so. Uh, okay. They might have just only given you some the important ones, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to do this then. Well, I guess pilot. Can I do pilot and ground craft instead? Let's do that, okay. sure, yeah. Okay. You trying to roll this higher than the device rating or something? I think so, yeah. Okay. Or I, I think this is just a this is one of those threshold ones. I, I think I think the threshold is the device all, rating. Yeah, I think they all have three. Okay. okay. Okay, so now I'm going to open fire. I'm going to use gunnery with my steel links and open fire on 
the guy, which I don't know how does this work now. Because <laughs> the Steelings has a weapon. Right. But I've got a gunnery skill, so should it be the should it be the the weapon plus the gunnery skill? Well, I, I mean, know. the weapon the weapon uses the gunnery skill. The weapon doesn't have its own skill built in. Okay, I just use the stats for the purpose of... Uh, like damage and accuracy and stuff. Damage and accuracy, okay. Yeah. So I should just ro roll the gunnery skill? Uh, I, is it just gunnery or is it gunnery plus an attribute? It is, but it'll roll, bo it'll roll both if I click on it. It's agility. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. So roll, just roll that. Yeah, roll that gunnery skill. I assume that's like running the attack. Okay, for yeah, that's my that's attack. Against... Which isn't much better than my normal gun, gun roll, but. <laughs> Who's reaction intuition, which is a six. Um, I was going to give you a negative modifier, so I'll give him a positive modifier since you're firing oh, okay. from a crowded hallway. Oh, that's true. People so I'll give me. him a plus two. And you're still able to tag him. Nice. So you've got so however much damage that gun does plus one is how much damage is coming into him. It's the Ares Alpha assault rifle uh, eleven with an AP of minus two. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> AP minus two. So it's a twelve now. Or is it eleven including that? The, the DV is 11. The AP is minus 2. That's okay, so it's 11 plus 1, so it's 12 damage coming into him, and he negates 4 of it, so he takes 8 damage. And that is high, way higher than his armor, so that is physical damage. So he just gets um, shot up all to hell. Um, he's still technically standing, but he is bleeding profusely and does not look very good at all. He looks... He didn't even have a chance to be surprised. He's just so haggard and damaged right now. <laughs> okay, uh, so and then each of these uh, roto drones is going to fire of their own accord. Okay. Which so, is, well, we're gonna have to make up. We're gonna have to make something up on this because, like I said, they don't have programs. Normally, it would be like whatever their targeting program is. Just use gunnery, powered. I guess. Still, is that how we can do it? Uh, I don't think it's supposed to be that high because when they're on autopilot, they're not supposed to be very good. Okay. So maybe. Their autopilot plus their arms, maybe? Which is a four for them? Okay, let's do that. <laughs> I don't know what else I haven't done. Yeah, yeah. I mean, go, ahead, go, ahead. go ahead and give I, them... I know, I know that when they're on autopilot, they're not supposed to get any of your skills, because that would make them okay. too good. Okay, makes sense. Arm four, pilot three, so it's seven. Still give them a minus... Give a minus two to everybody in this hallway for right now, for the drones. Okay. That's, a, that's a five. How do I type in this? Use your quick roll. Um, Character sheet on the side. Yeah, it should be a quick roll that just you can type in your dice pool you need. Uh, if you can just do the math with how many dice you're gonna do. You can just do. Oh no, it's just a d6. So five d6. No, go to your character sheet and oh, click on sheet. quick quick roll collection. Um, okay. Standard D6. Yeah, standard D6. Oh. Include wounds. Click on that, and then just click the dice pool, and then it'll do the formula for you. So five minus two be or seven minus two would be five. Yeah. So, so just two. type five and enter. So I'm gonna do that um, three times. Well, the back one can't shoot. Oh, he can't. You're right. So ignore that last one then. Okay. So one of them shoots way wild. Um, in trying to not shoot you too, it kind of goes way off. <laughs> The other one, um... So that's the only one I have to worry about is the two. Yeah. That's good, because that's the first one. Two, and his reaction intuition is six. And uh, he's... It so shoots and gets close, close, but it doesn't quite <laughs> tag him. Um, even though he's, like, slumped over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, doke. And that's my turn. Okay. okay. Next up is this gentleman who is still locked on to this guy. We'll attempt to sh shoot him again. For a two success. And then the 
other guy has to defend it. Action plus intuition is... Wow, his defense dice is terrible. <laughs> Yet he rolls. <laughs> Jesus, three for four. So uh, he shoots at him, but it does not hit him. Even though he is got some, like, heavy Kevlar or something, it doesn't even. It doesn't no, even it doesn't him. even hit him. So this guy, he's so determined on shooting this guy, but he, you can tell he's not very trained in weaponry, and he just looks like he's doing this out of pure like emotion rather than any kind of skill. So he's trying to advance on this guy and shoot him, but his his hands are all wobbly and shaky. Hope he doesn't hit that little girl behind the guy. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> All right, next up is our uh, augmented guard friend who um, is going to... See, I don't think he actually has a melee weapon, does he? Yes, he does. Okay, he's got Nux. So he is going to take his cyber arm and attempt to punch the adept in front of him. It's a punch fight! Not very good at punching. Not very good with that, though. That lightning bolt seemed to have uh, kind of jacked it up a little bit. <laughs> Made everything go haywire. And uh, his swing is way off. <laughs> and then we have our janitor friend, who is um, slumped over and super hurt. And he is actually going to retreat, bust into the bathroom. He leaves a trail of blood as he crawls into the bathroom and shuts the door. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's a battery. He didn't lick my tank. <laughs> um, next is the shaman's turn. Okay, let's see here. This hallway is getting very crowded, by the way. <laughs> it is. It's very crowded. I'm going to start imposing some modifiers if you all don't kind of get away from each other. Well, I guess I already did with the drone, so. so. How many spaces can I move? Uh, two squares, I think we determined, as a free action. Okay. So one and then two. Move out of the hallway. Okay. Standing on top of the counter. You're on a counter. <laughs> I have, have counter dancing. <laughs> <laughs> as, I, as I sit there and I'm like, you know what? F this mother effer. And why is it so hard? And I'm gonna shoot him with a freaking lightning bolt again. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna see what happens this time. Determine your force and then roll your. We'll do seven again. Okay. Where's my spell cast? Any modifiers? Because now I'm up high. Uh, you can get a plus one modifier for having the better ground. Hey! Help. Six successes, pretty good. Wow. <laughs> Especially with the force. Um, luckily, you did not roll higher than your magic. You almost did. <laughs> yeah. Six is six. Um, so he has to roll. He's going to take some damage because his body's a five. Uh, where are you? So quick roll five. One success. So that is going to be. Now, what is it? Net hits? Is that how his the lightning bolt works? Uh, damage equals force plus net hit. Damage equals force plus net hits? Yep. Oh, we should have done damage before then. I think, right? Because we didn't add the force to it last time. So your force was seven, right? Yes. So seven plus the net hits is five. That's twelve. Wow. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is all physical. Yeah. Um, Good luck surviving that, jackass. Uh, <laughs> so you climb on top of the counter and rain down lightning bolt with righteous fury. <laughs> well, I'm dancing in circles. Right, while he's engaged with everybody else. Um, the lightning bolt slams him against the back of the wall. His eyes kind of light up, and then he just crumples to the ground. Burning to ash. <laughs> so he is actually... Um, Dead? Uh, he is unconscious and bleeding out profusely. <laughs> so dead. For all intents and purposes, he is down. Um, now you have to roll drain. Oh yeah, seven minus three. So four. Four is the number you have to be worried about. So four. So you roll your. 
um, charisma and willpower, which is 12. So you roll 12, and you're trying to get four or higher, basically. That works. You absolutely you're do. You're really good at those rolls. You are those really good at, good at... Yeah, that was a really good spellcasting turn in general, so... <laughs> You cast that and took no stun damage from casting it. Still dancing on the counter. Yeah. <laughs> and then the adept gets to go. All right, so that guy's out. That guy is out. out. He's down. All right, I want to try to run towards the two people firing each other. Okay. okay. And let's see what was sprinting. You're gonna use your whole turn to run, I assume. I guess. Can I run and shout? Uh, you can. You can actually talk as a free action if you want to attempt to. Uh, you can sprint at a rate of... Uh, make a running plus strength test. Each hit adds two meters to the distance they can run in that combat turn. Your normal running rate is 25 meters, which we'll call that... Five blocks, yeah. That's not diagonal stuff. Um, I think we can count diagonal, right? Yeah, I, I mean, was. You're, you're, we're three-dimensional three figures. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm okay with the counting diagonal. So you can do five just as a turn, and you can also do a sprinting action if you want. Uh, I'll try a sprinting action. Okay. Do you have a running skill? Um, I just put that up. Let me see. Yeah. Oh. So each hit adds two meters to the distance you can run in that combat turn. So I get to run an extra block. Yes, you can run an extra block. Six. I guess as I'm running, I just say Valerie Calabari. <laughs> see which one looks at me. <laughs> 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 Morphed to something completely. It's, it's, like, a, no, it's like a game of telephone that he's playing with himself. <laughs> <laughs> like every time he just thinks it, it changes. So yeah, what's his name supposed to be? Vic something. Vic Fratelli. Okay. I just yell Vic and see if one of them looks at me. As you run, this guy turns his attention to you, and uh, he. He shouts back, uh, you assholes in league together, you won't take me alive. No, 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 I just need to talk to you. <laughs> talk, talk has ended. It's your sister. <laughs> <laughs> he is just not dropping the sister angle. So, now that the combat turn has ended, we would roll initiative again, but you notice after these events have transpired, um... 